Hi. Uh, I'm going to um, uh, give you a little uh, show of um, what I'm I'm doing now, and uh, it relates to the E.T. Westbury Sea Line, which um, I'm in the process of finishing off, and it needs a radiator. So I'm uh, making a radiator uh, of the same design as uh, Jerry Howell's uh, four-cylinder engine, and um, it consists of eight uh, cores, which are. Uh, can you? Where are you? Oh, okay. Yeah, eight cores that uh, have 60 fins and the core down through the middle is uh, one, uh, 0.195 diameter and uh, I have to, when it's finished, I have to drill a hole right down through the center of uh, 536 0.536 um, diameter um, and then all eight of them are joined together by the the header and the the lower uh, tank which holds everything together so um, I thought I'd just uh, uh, let you see um, the process and um, you may get some ideas from it so I'll just um, uh, start the lathe up and uh, um, give you a demonstration. Uh, it takes quite a time. Uh, it's very tedious. Um, the fins are only 26 thou uh, thick and the parting tool that I'm using uh, to separate the fins is uh, 40 thou. Um, so I had to make up a special holder um, to fit the 40 thou parting off blade and uh, so I'll give you a little demonstration this won't be a long video just uh, I'll do a couple of fins and uh, you can see how it's progressing okay um, right I got the uh, I got the, mach the lathe running at uh, 1000 RPM and I'll show you, well you won't be able to see it but I'll, I'll illustrate to you uh, how I get the progression of the 26 thou fins. Um, so I'll just lock that up because I'm using a, um, a saddle stop with a micrometer uh, attached to it, a micrometer head, and uh, so I have to move everything each time to continue. So I'm taking it pretty slow um, because the brass was quite costly. I don't want to scrap one if I can help it because there's a lot of work in just, just uh, making another one. So, so I don't want to take it too quick and dig in. After you've been turning uh, a few of the fins, maybe 
10 or 12 fins, you find that your eyes start to go funny. You start, uh, everything becomes a bit blurry. So I do about 10 at a time and then I take a break. That's one. So, um, I'm gonna wind this back. I've got to make sure that I'm going down to the stop. So, I have to get my set in. I forget what it is uh, when I leave the job overnight. Um, I should write it down really. 35. Okay, 35. So I'll just wind back to my stop and go down to 35. undo that and undo the stop move the micrometer back to zero come up against the saddle lock the stop and then wind out 60 65 68 thou. Now I move the carriage forward, lock it up, and do another one. help if I had a, a stop on the cross slide. I'm seeing double already. OK, 
Okay. So that's what. That's how I'm doing it. Uh, there may be a better way of doing it. I don't know. Um, but that's the way I figure I'm going to do it. So this is the uh, the finished uh, uh, tube, and uh, I'll polish it up afterwards. Um, I have the other end to machine down like that, like that one there and uh, so it's going to be a while uh, This I've done this one and this is my second one so um, I'll be doing another video probably when I've got all eight done and placed together maybe I'll just do a little video of that so okay I'm going to call off thank you